In the small, desolate town of Ashwood, there was a decrepit house on Elm Street that the locals whispered about in hushed tones. It was said that the house was older than the town itself, and its rotting timbers held secrets that no one dared to uncover. One foggy evening, a stranger arrived in Ashwood, dressed in a pristine red suit. He stood out against the muted grays and browns of the decaying buildings. He introduced himself as Mr. Lucian and took up residence in the old house on Elm Street. The townspeople were cautious but curious. Mr. Lucian was undeniably charming, with a smile that seemed to hold ancient wisdom. He always knew what to say to ease their worries or lift their spirits. But there was something unsettling about his eyes. They were too dark, too deep, like voids that threatened to swallow anyone who gazed too long. Days turned into weeks, and strange occurrences began to plague Ashwood. Shadows moved independently of their casters. Whispers filled the air when no one was present, and children spoke of nightmarish creatures lurking just beyond their vision. People started disappearing. First, it was old Mrs. Harper, the town's historian, who had been seen conversing late into the night with Mr. Lucian. Then it was young Tommy, who had ventured too close to the house chasing a lost ball. Each time, Mr. Lucian would offer helpful suggestions and seemed genuinely concerned, but the disappearances continued. One bleak night, a handful of brave townspeople decided to confront Mr. Lucian. Armed with pitchforks and torches, they approached Elm Street, their determination bolstered by a sense of collective dread. As they neared the house, they noticed the air growing colder and an unnatural silence enveloped them. Mr. Lucian was waiting for them on the decaying porch, an amused smile playing on his lips. Good evening, friends, he greeted them, his voice smooth as silk. What brings you here at this hour? The leader of the group, a burly man named Sam, stepped forward. We know what you are, he said, his voice trembling. You've taken our friends, our family. We're here to put an end to it. Mr. Lucian's eyes gleamed, and he let out a low chuckle. Oh, dear Sam, he replied, I haven't taken anyone. They came to me seeking what every human desires, power, knowledge, freedom from their mortal chains. I merely provided what they asked for. The crowd wavered, fear gnawing at their resolve. What are you? Sam demanded. Mr. Lucian's smile widened, revealing sharp, two white teeth. I am Lucifer, the light bringer, the morning star and this world is mine. From the depths of the house, shadows flowed like liquid night, wrapping around the townspeople, dragging them screaming into the darkness. Ashwood would never be free of the old house on Elm Street, for its master was not a mere man, but the Prince of Darkness himself. And Mr. Lucian, with his impeccable red suit, had found the perfect dwelling place.